the slides so, of this one. Uh, I've seen everybody else in here. Hello, everybody. Sorry for the sort of technical problem there. I'm going to get to the on the corporate director for care and protection for children's services uh, at Full City Council. Um, I hope you've had a good morning. Uh, I think I've only got a 10 minute slot, so uh, I won't keep you from your lunch for too long. So, um, I've been asked to talk about the Families First for Children uh, Pathfinder. Oh, magically the slides have appeared again. So, um, if we go to the second slide, Dawn. Please, thank you. So, the Families First for Children Pathfinder is um, part of the government strategy to transform children's social care. Uh, the strategy uh, is entitled Stable Homes Built on Love, which was published in 2023. And that strategy is informed uh, by the independent review of children's social care, which was uh, um, published in um, May 22. Uh, Josh McAllister drafted that report, and it, the strategy is also informed by a national review into the notice of half of the video here to start boxing. So just work backwards through that slide to tell you how we've got to and first for children. Uh, it is or Dorset are one of three local authorities across the country um, delivering the pathfinder that was selected uh, along with the other two authorities which is uh, Wolverhampton and Lincolnshire. Uh, I think because the BFE felt that our model of social care delivery was very much going the way that they wanted uh, the national strategy to go, so we take that as a huge compliment. Um, we've been uh, set some minimum requirements of how to deliver a new model uh, in line with the government strategy, uh, and we've been in a period of co design um, with children services and with partners in health, police, education services, uh, in um, voluntary and community sector, and with our children. Uh, and families. Um, so uh, let's just move to the next slide and I'll tell you a little bit about um, the key kind of reform strands in the pathfinder model. So you can see there those four blocks. The first one is about uh, developing multidisciplinary family health services in localities uh, across Dorset. Um, we very much have a sort of multidisciplinary uh, local sort of delivery at the minute, but um, through the car finder we will be uh, building on that. Second um, pillar is about developing multi-energy child protection services with um, experienced uh, social workers acting as lead child protection uh, social workers. Uh, the third uh, pillar, which we think actually is golden thread, uh, right through the strategy is about unlocking the potential of the wider family network to support um, children. And the fourth one is about um, um, enhancing the role of our safeguarding partners, being clear about roles and responsibilities for different safeguarding partners, particularly education, and the government are thinking about legislating for uh, education going forward, uh, the statutory safeguarding partner. At the minute, people don't know uh, children's social care, um, health, and police are the three statutory safeguarding partners. So, so those uh, overall are the key kind of uh, strands of work that we'll be doing in our final programme. So if you move to the next slide. So key things we've been thinking about in designing our new model, uh, we will be making sure all of them put children and families first and indeed children and families feedback has been um, very much accounted for in our design work and uh, the model that we've uh, come to. Uh, we'll be making sure that we don't lose any of the strengths of our current delivery model, that we maintain them. We'll be looking to enhance uh, the service that we deliver, so um, not only uh, maintaining our strength, but making sure we are enhancing the offer to children and families in the counties, and we'll be making sure that we um, um, instigate a, a really good um, learning and development offer for our workforce so that they, they really can deliver um, the transformation strategy. Uh, go on, next slide, please. So, uh, key starting point for uh, further integration. I should say, actually, there's a 
think the debate is about uh, innovation and also integration. Very much part of the government strategy is to have deeper integration between uh, agencies working uh, with children, young people and families. So this here is a model of our new front door. Our front door is where uh, members of the public or professionals um, call in uh, to children's social care to even raise concerns about children and young people or uh, to ask for support. So uh, you can see there our channels and children's advice uh, in Julie line. Uh, we already have our multi agency safeguard and hub, which is our MASH, that's our sort of job protection sort of um, front door. Um, we have a uh, family help hub, well, we call it an early help hub, that will become a family help hub, that's the FHH there, you can see on the right of that um, diagram. Um, and we will be adding Dorset Education Advice Line into our front door. We're looking to add a Cairns Gateway into the front door and we're looking to link uh, the front door into the DCS and our family hubs in the uh, counties across, across the county. So, um, very much deeper integration in our front door there. That uh, door, next slide, please. This is our family health space. So, family health is a space where we have been asked to merge. Uh, Early help, which is our non statutory support to children and families, with our statutory child and youth social work. So, those are two sort of separate areas of work set out in legislation at the minute. This new sort of transform model is about uh, those areas of work merging, and really the aim is for it to become a really kind of supportive, non stigmatising service to. Uh, children and families, where families can come for help and support without feeling, um, without feeling they don't want our services, if you know what I mean. Um, most of the practitioners in there will be non-social work qualified family health workers, um, but we will also be um, integrated with our health partners and education partners, and we've got uh, a lot of investment into the new model to increase the number of multidisciplinary professionals uh, in that model. So, for example, we will have 40 additional uh, youth workers, we have semi provision leads, specialist teachers, inclusion leads, and new contextual safeguarding leads. And I, sh I should say at the beginning, uh, the uh, DFA have given us 4.9 million to invest um, in our new model. So, lots, lots of investment. Um, which has enabled us to do that enhancing of our current model. Okay, Dawn. Next slide. Child protection space, very much the aim here is to, uh, again, deeper integration with partners, multi agency child protection teams, um, using our most experienced social workers to be the lead uh, child protection practitioner. That's uh, a new kind of job title that um, as, uh, the DfV um, has kind of established for this model. So um, most of our social work will be in the child protection teams. Uh, we will have adult services professionals as part of our multidisciplinary team. That's the safeguarding families together. Circle that yellow circle is uh, mental health practitioners, domestic abuse practitioners. Um, uh, substance abuse practitioners working with children's social workers um, to support uh, parents with all of those kind of three challenges domestic abuse, mental health uh, difficulties, and substance misuse. Okay, uh, go on next slide, please. Family networks unlocking the potential of the wider family networks. As I said before, we see this as a golden thread through, throughout the strategy. Um, we will be working with families to support them to develop their own family plans um, at, at an early stage of our work with them. So you can see family group conferencing and uh, family network meetings. Uh, there are two different ways of engaging with families, very much about getting families together, wider family network, uh, facilitating those meetings to um, support families to come up with their own family, their own plan, so to support and protect children. And we will be able to use family network support packages to support the wider family to, 
ensure that children stay at home uh, rather than come into care. So those family network support package, uh, packages have been funded uh, by some of that 4.9 million funded. So very much uh, extra investment and looking at that investment to, to go into families and to work with the VCS uh, sector to help us um, um, deliver the packages across the communities to endorse it. Okay, go on, next slide. This slide is a bit more about our safeguarding families uh, to get a model uh, it's already rolled out uh, in uh, Chesil locality and Dorchester and West locality. Part of the Pathfinder would be rolling it out in a uh, North locality and uh, uh, East and Herbert locality. Uh, <coughs> you can see there the professionals in the Safe Family family together to speaking to them around in the family, as I said before, domestic abuse workers, uh, substance uh, misuse workers, uh, mental health practitioners, social workers and support workers, uh, that kind of uh, on discipline is uh, um, under group supervision, so that all those professionals being supervised by an agent together, um, I think that's a really good kind of uh, delivery model, uh, he's working in the localities for the kind of the minute, um, and the government has promoted that across the country, this model, so uh, we're really excited that we're going to be able to roll it out right across um, our service. Uh, and we're of course in our obviously child protection team with the uh, police involvement and different health professionals who are looking for our um, both our family health spaces and child protection spaces to <coughs> have sort of um, integrated uh, health visitors, school nurses, uh, for example. <coughs> Excuse me. So very much um, a much deeper integrated service both at child protection and uh, family health. We are just finished co-design and models just been signed off by the DFE. Uh, as I say, the budget's been signed off, 4.9 million extra investment. We are looking for our new model to go live in April. Um, and um, we're very excited and um, keen to get on with it. So I know I've rushed really quickly through that. I can't see any of you, so I don't know if any of that's made sense. And I have, it's really hard uh, without getting any reaction. I hope you can still hear me. Um, and I'll be to answer your questions, but I expect to come to you when I'm 